Hey everyone, the Red Dragon here from Battlestrats.com, bringing you another walkthrough for LA Noir. We're taking a look at a marriage made in heaven. I'm going to show you how to get 100%. Uh, we're also going to get the stab right achievement if you follow this. Now, I'm not showing any cutscenes, so if you want to go back, you want to watch it with the cutscenes, you can do that as you play through the game. This is strictly for uh, the achievement to get 100% on this level. So, as you get started, the first thing you're going to do is check out the guy who got run over by the car. Uh, you want to open up his left pocket, you're going to find a wallet there. Be sure that you interact with it, press A on the license. Notified it's going to give you your first clue as to who it is. Makes sense to find a dead body and always check the pockets for a wallet. Uh, I was going to try to take the money and check it out, but it won't let you grab it. So, no stealing in L.A. Noir. Pop that back in and then check out the other pocket. Here you're going to find a letter of insurance. Somebody's taking life insurance out of him and he's dead, so somebody's getting a payday. So uh, that's one big clue. So pop that back in. After you get done checking out the body, there's automatically going to be a cutscene. And then you're going to see uh, where the police has already gone through and marked up all the different uh, details in the case. So there's going to be A, B, and see that you need to go and walk over and interact. Again, the game lays out interacting with objects very easy. When you get close to something, it will vibrate to let you know to just press A to interact with it, at least if you're on the Xbox. Also, once again, pay attention to the music. If you hear music, that means there's more clues to be found. And if there is no music or the music stops all of a sudden, that means that you've actually found everything. So once you've checked out the last clue, uh, you'll see that that was uh, Ray's bar. You just walk over to the alleyway. There's going to be a trash can that's got a knife in it. So pull that out. Uh, use your left joystick to move it around to uh, take a good look at it. And when you get it in the right place, it'll zoom in and that'll be your next clue. So after you're done with that, now you can go interview the witness. So go talk to her. I've already marked it out for you. Uh, again, this is uh, if she's telling the truth or if you need to doubt her, etc. So that's exactly what you need to do with those three questions. Once you're done with her, go inside and talk to the bartender. Again, if you need to pause, go through there and answer all the questions or ask him the questions and you'll see that he does a lot of doubting with this guy. I'm gonna need you to sign a statement. So once you're done talking to the bartender, before you leave the bar, if you look down right behind him, there's actually a newspaper there. So again, L.A. Noir has 13 newspapers throughout the game. So I believe this is our third one. Yeah. So uh, once you're done with that, you can get uh, put that away. Head on over to the back. There's a phone that you're gonna dial out, and you'll get some information. You can drive. So, once you're done with that and you're ready to go to the next destination, go ahead and go to the Shelton residence first. Don't go to the Pattison residence. Now, once you get there, there's going to be a cutscene, uh, then a chase starts up. So, what you have to do is get into the car. This is one time where you can't tell your partner to get in and drive for you. You actually have to do this. Uh, and I'm, I'm showing you the good parts right now. I actually screwed up a lot on this and was running into all kinds of poles. Uh, and I took out a guy right there, but it didn't stop me. So I, I think you can probably have a pretty easy time with this. Eventually he runs down if you're not able to stop him before. Pull it right beside him and you're ready to make the arrest. Now, after you make the arrest, you'll go back to the Pattison house and you're going to interview her again. She's going to lie there and uh, if you pause that, you'll know what you should pull out in order to show her that she lied. Once you leave that interview, head down the street, do a little circle and then get on this phone to make another phone call. He's going to tell you, or the lady's going to tell you, you need to head on over to the coroner's office. You just walk in, a cutscene shows up, you get the stab right achievement, or trophy if you're playing on the PS3. 
Once you get done with that, you'll go back to the Patterson house and you'll find yourself eventually in this rundown. So um, right there, I tried to shoot him, uh, or I tried to give a warning shot, but he didn't stop because there is an achievement if you can do that right, which I didn't. Uh, there's an achievement for actually firing a warning shot and making somebody stop. Or you can kill this guy. Either way, uh, you'll still get a 5 star rating at the end of this. So, by me taking the shots and me missing, I ended up being pretty far behind, so I had to chase him down a good little ways. But again, you can go back and replay any of these, so I'll probably go back and play this one at another time and uh, try to show you how to get that one achievement for uh, stopping a suspect by just firing a warning shot. Here, he eventually moves down. You just pull the trigger, make the shot. And I don't know about you, but I thought that poster back there looked like Kevin Costner. You look spooked, Phelps. But anyway, guys, that's how you take down this particular mission. You get a five-star rating. So a marriage made in heaven, you now have, have five stars for that. If you want more tips, tricks, hints, head on over to Battletrash.com. Be sure that you subscribe for more of these videos. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know what uh, videos you would like to see made. And uh, check back for some more L.A. Noir.